All right, everyone, another soap video. Um, this one I'm going to do, um, <clears throat> I have a fragrance that's called um, Aus Australian Bamboo Grass, and that's from Nature's Garden. So I'm going to be, and it smells great, by the way. Um, so I'm going to be using that. Now, I have a soap that actually failed a little while ago, and I threw it in my fail bucket. Um, it's a nice, it was a nice looking soap, but it was really soft. Um, and I figure, I think I actually miscalculated the lie. So, um, so I have that soap, and what I did was cut them up into strips, to little pieces. Um, and you can see here are some longer ones. So, um, and it's, it was a green and a green and purple kind of swirl. It was actually very pretty, but the soap is very soft. Um, but so when I got this fragrance, I thought I can do kind of like a grass looking soap. So I'm going to do a soap, pour it into the mold and then take some of those and put those in the top, you know, like they're sort of like, you know, bamboo grass sitting out of it. So, um, colors I'm going to be using. Mostly white, I think I'm going to keep for the base. So I have some titanium dioxide. And then we'll see if I can do a drop swirl this time, or I might do an in-the-pot swirl. We'll see. Um, I don't know if this fragrance accelerates, but I have some new colors from Celestial Colors. So I have Sunset and Sweet Potato, and I'm going to try those. And um, I think we're ready to go. All right, so recipe. Uh, in my oils, I have 14 ounces of castor oil. 12 ounces of 76 degree coconut oil, 12 ounces of olive oil pomace, and 10 ounces of cocoa butter, 18.25 ounces of water, and 6.65 ounces of lye. Okay, so here we go. Oh, uh, I just checked my temps. They're like 95 and 105, a little higher than I normally do, but I also have some bentonite clay, which I've pre-mixed with some oil that I took out of the mix. So I'm going to add that in, and the bentonite clay is just to give it kind of a silky feel. I just did another soap with it, and I didn't pre-mix the bentonite clay, and I think I got some lumps. So I just mixed this with um, one of those little frothers which unfortunately just broke. So, okay. All right, so here we go. All right, adding my lye and water. And let's get it blended up. That looks good. Adding my fragrance. Okay, looks good. So I'm going to divide out my colors. Oops. The majority is going to stay white, I think. I'm not going to do a ton of other colors, or at least in amount wise. And, you know what, I actually may keep this kind of an, eh, I'm going to lighten it up. I thought about keeping it um, 
just a, a natural soap color. But I do want some contrast um, between the other colors I'm adding here. And, you know, I actually forgot to check to see if this uh, fragrance discolors. Um, um, but I didn't, so. All right, so this goes in my mold. This smells so good. Um, I, I didn't know, I mean, you know, Australian bamboo grass, who knows what that's going to smell like. Um, but it sounded interesting, and um, I actually got this fragrance from somebody who was getting rid of some of theirs, and so it was a nice, it was a good deal. And I thought, oh, I'll try it, it sounds interesting. And I love it, it smells so good. Okay. So staying nice and loose. Um, all right, so sweet potato and sunset. And let's give them a little blend. Wow, that sunset is cool color. Um, I thought it would be more more yellow, but um, so sweet potato and sunset, and they're still pretty loose. So I think I can do a drop swirl with them. Okay, so I'm just kind of starting a little bit medium height and then going up nice and high just so I know I have, you know, like I'm not going to miss my mold or anything. Okay, cool. I'm just going to splatter this on here, kind of Jackson Pollock style. And I'm going to swirl this a little bit. All right, so chopstick.
Okay. Now, you're not going to be able to see a lot of the top anyway, um, because I'm going to put this, these little grass things in it. Uh, but I need this to firm up a little bit. So, uh, I'm going to take a break and let this firm up and then um, and then come and then I'll right after right after the pause here should be uh, putting in the, the grass pieces uh, that I have cut up from my other soap member okay so stick around uh, right after the break okay back it hasn't been long it's maybe been oh maybe between three and five minutes so all right, I'm just gonna take some. Oh, it's actually very firm. I'm doing the longer ones first because I don't have as many of them. And I'm just kind of randomly putting them in. Now, when I go to cut this, I'm sure it'll be fun. Okay, so those are all my long ones. Now I'm just going to put in some shorter ones. I thought this was a good way to recycle some soap since I didn't really think that other one, this other one here that I chopped up, it looked so pretty. It has these green and purple swirls in it. I actually think this will look better like when the slices are cut. Right now I think it looks a little odd. Well, it could look a little odd when the slices are all done too. Okay, I think I'm approaching maximum grass density here.
Yeah, I'm actually a little worried about cutting this. I, now that I think about it, I probably won't be able to use my cutter. Um, I'll probably have to cut this by hand, but... Um, okay, so there it is. Australian bamboo grass. So I'm going to put it in the fridge uh, and uh, let it chill out a little bit. And then after the break should be the, the cutting or the unmolding. I'm not sure which I'll do. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey everyone, okay, so here's the cutting of Australian bamboo grass. Um, the colors, the sweet potato and the sunset that I used and um, that looked so sort of gorgeous when they were wet are very similar now. Now I have some ash on the top, but um, it's hard to really see a big difference between the two of them. So we'll see when I cut it. Now I've debated cutting this with a manual cutter. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually probably going to shorten some of these. And then what I think I might do is actually um, take a knife and um, sort of slice them so they're, they're thin, so they look like actually, you know, thinner pieces of grass. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I think some of them will just sort of move out of the way. And some of them will get cut. but they're pretty flexible anyway. But I, I sort of fully intend that I'm gonna lose some of them. Or not intend, at least I guess I, I am aware that I will lose some of them. Okay, so they look better here. There's definitely more of a distinction. So I can see the sweet potato and the sunset. Um, so that looks pretty good. Ooh, I'm losing my grass. That's a pretty swirl too. So these need a little bit of cleanup and, and attention to the top. I'm going to try and straighten out some of those grasses and maybe cut them a little skinnier. The, um, the sunset's a really pretty color. Well, I'm glad I used kind of, I actually, when I was putting the little grass pieces in, I thought I was putting in a lot of them, but I kind of am glad because I, I did lose a bunch as I cut it. But I think each piece has enough in that you'll be able to sort of get the sense of it. And like I said, I think I'm going to clean them up a little bit, um, slice them down so some of them are very thin, like just slice it this way. And, um, and then maybe shorten some of them so I get some little bit of uh, variation in height so I get some visual interest to them. I'm kind of in love with this fragrance, the Australian bamboo grass. It smells so good.
Now, that one I got a lot of deep penetration on for the swirl itself. I didn't get quite as deep for a lot of these other ones. But I chose those colors because I was thinking of Australia and I was kind of thinking of the outback and they have sort of, you know, the desert and they have all those, you know, really warm, orangey landscape. Um, so that, that's kind of why I chose those. So, okay. All right, well, that's it for the Australian bamboo grass. And um, usually when I do these videos at the very front, um, I put in some still pictures of the completed soap. So check there. Um, these should be cleaned up. Um, I'll probably, you know, I'll probably let them sit out for a day or two uh, so the hot, so the sides get a little harder and I can, bev I can um, plane them a little bit and I'll work on the tops to clean those up with some alcohol and work on the grass so it's a little bit more, you know, visually appealing. So when that's all finished, I'll take some still photos of them and I should put them at the front of the video, sort of as the final project. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments below. If you like it, subscribe and talk to you all later. Check back for more soap videos. Bye.